Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today, as you probably already know because you clicked on the video, I'm going to be showing you a quick um, Christmas decor haul. I've got a couple of Christmas jammies slipped in there as well. It is uh, quarter past seven at night, doing this after we've put our little boy to bed. So I'm kind of just running through this because we want to be able to get the tree up at the weekend. And so I'm trying to get all this done now. Anyway, let's get inside. So all in all, we kind of got rid of some of us decorations and we lived in a smaller house last Christmas. So we really don't have much for this Christmas in the sense of decorations. So we wanted to get some, we've not gone mad. If um, it was up to me, I think we could easily buy so much, but I really reined it in and I just thought we'll just add little bits maybe like over the years and just see what we actually want. Um, so yeah, we kind of just went with a really um, neutral kind of colour scheme. Um, we've got a white cream and wood and obviously like traditional colours of like green because of the actual tree. So we've got a frosted tree. Um, I am going to be doing a decorate with me video so that will be out kind of following this one. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm just going to get into it. We went to Home Bargains B&M, Range, B&Q and Matalan and we only actually purchased in two of those which was B&M and The Range. Everywhere else was disappointing and quite a letdown so let's just get started. Um, first, one of the first things we picked up was this beautiful little snow globe. So it's just like white houses with white trees and then the snow and like this really nice like um, light wood base. Uh, this was from B&M and it was £8 so it was a little bit more than maybe we wanted to spend in the sense of decorations. Um, but we really liked it, we thought it looked really nice in the centre of the table. I am thinking of getting a table runner or making one. I don't think I'll have time to make one, so it's probably going to buy one. Um, so I might look around and see if there's any nice table runners out. So yeah, well, I thought this looked really nice as a centrepiece on the table. Kind of decorate it all nice, maybe get like a little like little foliage going on. I think it will ah, so cute. So yeah, that was the first thing, B&M, eight pound. And we got, so I will point out that pretty much most of this is for the tree because our tree has two decorations currently, two. So yeah, we kind of just were like, everything else I think in the house, we were like, we'll just maybe see what we see. We can't, we don't have many surfaces in which we can put things out and we don't want to do too much like pinning and sticking to the walls. Um, and then with Oliver being able to reach pretty much most surfaces now, obviously we don't want to be putting anything like this out that's going to break or be too heavy and hurt him. So you've got to think about these things apparently when you have children. Um, this was super cute. I loved this little reindeer. So this little reindeer, his little pom-pom nose, um, and he was a cracking two ninety nine from the range. And I was like, no way. Because I saw the tag and I was like, I think he's two ninety nine. And Carl was like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah. I was like, I've got to have him. He's going in the playroom. He's going in Oliver's little room. So I'm really excited because he will just enjoy that because he'll just be like, huh. He might like the texture of the wool bit here. Um, but yeah, so he's in the playroom, 2 99 from the range. I also got him, so we don't really ever put tinsel on our tree. We just do lights and decorate, de like ornaments and that's it. But I thought for Oliver's playroom, he could have some tinsel because I thought he'd kind of find it quite nice because of like the sensoriness of it. So I just got him a strip of 99p gold tinsel from the range. Just really simple. Um, just gold tinsel. I just thought he'd enjoy it, you know. Got to spoil him somehow. Um, we did pick up this little kit from Home Bargains, actually. This is a make your own gingerbread man. 
my niece and sister are coming over tomorrow for just like a little, little mini craft day today to, together and she loves baking so i was like oh we'll just make some little cookies together this was 2.49 and it comes with a cutter all you need to add is butter and uh water so not bad and then at least you can use the thing again and it's a nice size little tool so yeah 2.49 to keep three people happy maybe four actually so maybe five because oliver does like biscuits so you never know we found these at the range i can't remember how much these were maybe like two quid 2.49 something like that two large suction cups with a hook because we've never been able to get one of those door you know to hang your wreath that goes over your door and it's like a big hook and it hooks onto your door but hooks your wreath they never fit on adults we've had one we've had it for years since this first christmas together when we moved in together and it never ever ever fit any of the houses we lived in none of them so i never got to put my wreath up ever so we're gonna try these this year they might fall off but at least we'll know all those fails i'm taping it to the door there we go uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> i'm trying to think Oh, so this entertained Olive for a good five minutes in the in the range. So this is called a rustic hanging bell with floristry. This I think was like one ninety nine, maybe a bit less. And it's just a large white bell with like little um, string and some little like acorns and stuff. So yeah, I thought that was really cute. Around one one ninety nine ish. If I find the proper receipt and the actual prices, I'll put them up in the top of the screen, like here somewhere. If I can be a proper person and, you know, be helpful, you know. The way I actually found range was the best for the decorations because they had a lot of variety and a lot of price range. So they had like some that were a bit more expensive and you're like, oh yeah, okay. But then they also had ones like this little gnome or gonk, whatever you call them. Oh yeah, they've called it Hanging Black and White Gonk. And he was 49p. And he comes with like these little beads at the top. So yeah, he was really cute. I was really impressed with him. Cora spotted him and she was like, he's only 49p. And I was like, great. Because we've also gone with the thought of, if Oliver breaks any of these, it's okay. Because we didn't pay a huge amount for them and we're not being precious about them. Because this is the first year he's going to he's going to see the tree and kind of like want to discover the tree because he's just turned one. So when December, you know, when we put this tree up tomorrow, he's going to be like, what is that? He might try and climb it too. So that's something I've got to factor in. This one was really nice. We got this from uh, B and M, and it was two pound fifty for this one. So this is like ceramic. Um, and then it's like a beaded top. But that's just really nice, really plain, simple. We really liked that one. Um, <laughs> oh, this was another one from B&M. And it's a light up one. Yeah, because why not? It's like a little wooden house with a tree at the front and the back. And this little chimney. Oh, look at him making all those little things in there. He was a bit more expensive, this one. I say he, like it's got a agenda. Um, but this one, <laughs> this one was £3.50. Um, but we didn't mind paying up because when we first kind of was putting a budget together, we didn't want to pay any more than th £3. So we did go over this one, but because we went under on quite a few others, it worked out okay. Uh, but yeah, we really enjoyed this one. I thought it was really nice, really simple. Um, and I thought it looked just look kind of, yeah, good. Really cute. So happy with that one. This one's really cute. Cora found this one and it's like decorated. I don't know if you'll be able to see. It'll probably just still pick up my face. Oh, there we go. So it's got like acorn kind of print and a little bit of like a floristry print. And then... Inside, it's got like fake nuts. 
Um, this one was, I think, one ninety nine or two forty nine. I will put the prices up in the corner. Um, so yeah, we thought that was really nice because that added a little bit more colour with the green and the brown um, to the tree. And to match it, we got this one with the mistletoe in. Um, again, I think this was the same price, like two forty nine, maybe one ninety nine. Maybe 179 actually. Maybe 179 Possibly. Again, I'm going to try and find that price. Uh, so yeah, really quite large. This was from the range. This last one was from the range, if I didn't already say. Um, and we liked these because they kind of matched, so they looked a bit cohesive in the whole host of them. Because we didn't get any just plain baubles that went then went everywhere else. We just got like these main decorative I don't know I'm not a tr Christmas tree decorating expert I wouldn't know either way that's what we've done moving on we found this one's kind of kind of rustic and kind of like steampunky maybe it's only because of the um, top it makes me think of steampunk so I don't think it's going to it up maybe so it's just got some like dried flowers inside dried leaf branch and then just like a little leatherish is it suede i think it's like a suede leather type of strap again i think this is like 179 199 not expensive but really simple and really nice and i think it'll just look really nice on the tree because we've got a frosted tree so we wanted everything to look really like neutral because also we don't have a colour scheme in this house. This house was decorated when we moved in. Because it was a show sure home, so it's just as it is. This living room we have done nothing with. Everything's still here that was left here. And we've got like pink blinds and me and Cora don't do pink. Either of us. And then like, the artwork here has got pink in it. We don't really do pink. So it's all, yeah. It, one day it's going to change, I think. When we can be bothered, it's the last room because it's the non-offensive. It's the most non-offensive room, literally. There's nothing wrong with it, so why rush to change it? We're just probably just waiting till Oliver draws on the walls, and then we've got to be like, oh no, we do have to change it. So that's probably I think behind it. Let me know if you <laughs> agree with that philosophy. Um, another one from B and M. We found this. It's quite heavy, nice. It's a ceramic. Um, it, the range is called Midnight Glamour. Very nice. And it's just like a ceramic tree with a gold base. And it just looked, yeah. We went with the gold instead of silver because I sometimes find gold can be a little bit more classy. The problem with silver sometimes, especially with shops and decorations, they, they can air on the side of cheap a little too much. And then when you put it all together, it looks really cheap. So that's no offence to anybody that does do silver. Because you can do it nice, but I don't have the time or the money to put into that. And I'm not an interior designer in any aspect. So we went with gold. It's a lovely little tree. £2.50 for the tree. So not bad on that one. Um, we found this one in the range again. I think it was again like... 79p, 49p, 179-esque price. So it's like a little um, deer with a little house and trees. And again, that's got a bit of, so that's wood and then it's got like painted trees and the greenery on. So that helps tie things together with some of the other pieces we've got that are green. We picked up this one, which is really cute. This again was the range. The range really had the range, I'll just point out. And that's not to be um, non-sponsored or anything, but yeah. So there is a nice little wooden star. It's kind of like um, chic, shabby chic-ish kind of whatever they call it these days. Esque, because it's rubbed down. Oh no, this one's broken. Ow. Where's your tag? Oh, there it is. Oh, I'll have to try and fix that. Well, they've let us down already. 
So we did have this tree and it had like gold sparkles on the, there you go, you can maybe see it a little, uh, yeah, there. So it's got gold sparkles, wood with gold sparkles, but the um, top's broken off, so I'm going to have to try and fix that. I'll just maybe glue it, Let's see if we've got any glue, oh my hot glue gun, that'll work. I'll try and fix it. That was, I can't remember, 99 pence from the range. Put that to one side because I'll have to fix it now. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, this was a nice one. This was like 49p and they had loads of different ones. So they were the same shape and then some said like ho ho ho, some said Merry Christmas and stuff like that. So this is just a really cute one. It kind of thinks, makes me think if Oliver was older he'd pick this out because it's just kind of like kiddish and cute. So yeah, he was cute from the range. Uh, oh, this one is like a decor to go somewhere not sure where but somewhere um, to hang up somewhere so it's like a little wooden star and then it's got like a little trail of like um, twigs beads and stars and little bits on the string and a little bow and I just thought it was really cute that was like 149 249 something like that um again i'll try and find the price see what we can do um, um and then the last thing we bought from decoration wise was this i really like this i have no idea where i'm gonna put it whatsoever i'll find somewhere but I don't know. It lights up. Let's see if I can turn it on to show you the full effect. I don't know where these things are. Don't tell me you don't work. I want to buy my own batteries. Oh, I should have bought the one turned on now. If that's the case. Oh, that's so cheap. So I put my own batteries in. Anyway, it looks lovely lit up. And I'll show you next when I film my whole decorate business. But it's just a, it's not gonna, oh, it just looks like, it looks stupid now. Because I can't give you the full effect. I'll give you the full effect later. Um, <laughs> been a long day, can you tell? It just got, a, so it's all wooden and it's like twigs wrapped and held in place by string to create a tree shape, like a giant triangle, basically. And it just hangs by a string at the top and it does light up. So it's very nice, it's very cute. Um, and it looks kind of dusted if it's been in the snow. So yeah, it's, it's beautiful and it'll look beautiful um, when it's, found its home and looks more like an actual ornament instead of just twigs and a rope. The last thing I want to show you, because I've just apparently witted on for 17-ish minutes, was Cora found us matching Christmas jammies. We had them last year, mainly because my friend bought them as a Christmas present for us, but we opened, she told us to open them early so we could wear them with Christmas jammies, obviously. Um, but Cora found them for this. I didn't even think to look. We've got matching jumpers and I was like, that's good enough. Otherwise you end up spending a fortune trying to match each other all the time. And that's a lot. So, but Cora found these and they look adorable. I tried them on Oliver last night. <laughs> so cute. Um, and they're from Asda, George. All right, yeah. And basically it is these little jammies. So they've got like baubles, they're, they're all baubles or basically, and there's carrots, there's crackers, there's gingerbread men, and all kinds of little fun stuff. Tur a turkey, trifle, uh, dinosaur, hot cocoa. So yeah, they're our matching Christmas jammies. So we've got those ready to put on and I'm so excited because we're going to use these um, 
instead of just having them for Christmas Eve, we're going to be doing what um, somebody, we found it from Natalie Bennett, who's an American YouTuber, and she does a lot of minimalism, but she talks about having a Christmas box, which the, her and her kids open on the 1st of December, and then they use the stuff that's within, that's within the box. So they've got like mugs for, um, hot cocoa she puts like packets of popcorn in there and the hot chocolate mix and um, a book the nativity I think they have and their Christmas pajamas for that year so that's something that me and Cora really liked we really like that tradition and that's what we're going to be doing with Oliver from now on so these will be um, used I think these will be good because she got a bigger size these will be good for at least two years so this year and next year, fingers crossed, um, unless Oliver decides to grow like an absolute weed and out of control, then he won't fit in these. But yes, enough of me rambling. That's everything with this little Christmas haul. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know where you found your best decorations because I still need to go get a new wreath because as Cora thinks it's okay, I don't think it's okay. It's shabby. Um, our tree is beautiful and we've got a one of those wicker basket tree skirts. I'm very excited to put it all together. But otherwise, we've not got much kind of to put out. So let me know where you found your best decorations. Um, I might even go to some of the chariot shops and see if I can find anything in there. But otherwise, that's it. That's what I've managed to kind of collate so far. I might still find some other stuff. If I do, I'll do another haul. Um, and show you what I find and if not then just keep keep watching our videos because I'm going to be doing lots of cleaning I've got um, lots of rearranging and organizing this house because apparently everything seems to be going out of control and yeah I've just got a lot of fun stuff going on so make sure you subscribe and um, join in the crazy chaos fun and I'll see you in the next one